All right, it is Thursday morning. I'm at Wild at Heart. Sorry, I'm making the phone fly everywhere. Uh, turns out that uh, Missy has grandbaby duties or grandmama duties with the grandbaby. So that just call that grand duties. <laughs> so she's elsewhere. Um, she has brought me some uh, some patients to work with. Um, I'm looking here at about six Tauruses that need some work and maybe some of the stuff, but she hasn't taught us what that is yet. Anyway, I am here early, and there's some rain coming, and I'm on a motorcycle, so I've just decided to solo it this afternoon and have a good time anyway. All right. Oh, man. Uh, these maggots actually caused quite a bit of damage to the turtles. Um, so here's a case in point. Here's one's left eye. Although I've not shown it to you yet, there is actually a hole right there that actually goes into and behind the eye socket itself. Um, and there you can actually see there's the conjunctiva and the eyelids. This, this maggot has grown itself in behind the eye. And it would probably be there for months um, before it came out. By that time, the eye socket itself, the bony portion of the eye socket, the eyes, the lens... The third eyelid, everything has been remodified to try and protect the eye as it was with the uh, bug in it. If that hole doesn't seal over, then it'll actually be a hole for next year's uh, fly larvae. Um, so anyway, let me uh, do a little bit of poking here if this guy will sit still. and Let me see if I can get that out of there. Come on, let go. Let go. How's that for gross? Anyway, I will save this guy, and I will actually try to raise it. Oh, my God. Hold on, little buddy. Just trying to get some of the dirt out of there. I'm also looking for a much smaller pair of tweezers. Forceps. This is going to feel so much better. Was that a bugger on my nose? <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Right there. I haven't done nothing yet since the last worm. Give me a chance. I'm not trying to help you.
Yeah, I'm trying to help you. Yo! Are they real bad? Um, no, not really. The one with the eye? I'm doing him right now. Oh, are you? I'm trying to do anyway. Is it maggots in there? It's a maggot in there. At least bad? one. How do they get in there? We're working on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just one. I'm just curious. I guess they get an eye infection or It's possible if we're looking at a different species of fly, the flies could come and actually take a bite or a chunk out of that skin, lay yeah. an egg right next to it, and then they start tunneling. That's sad, ain't it? It is. We've seen a lot of these guys pretty much uh, torn up quite a bit because of this stuff. Do you think he'll still save his eye, though? Well, his eye's really intact. It's just Maggot. misshapen. Yeah. Poor little fella. Well, if that other one made it, he should make it home. Huh? We should. My goodness, poor little guys. I'm still working out there. I've got about eight more. It's starting to get hot out there, too. Yeah, it's not too bad. But you know what? My vitamin D has been low for the last three years. Since I'm out here, mm -hmm. it's up. It's going up. Cool. And I'm on 50,000 milligrams of uh, vitamin D once a week. So it's going up. Miss, I don't know how you get in the sun with all those clothes on. I'm so well. I must be getting something. Yuckness. That is quite a bit smaller. Yeah, two of those came out of that. I could make that small enough. Anyway, I'm going to watch this for a bit, see if there's any more heads popping out. Later.